Hi guys. So this is the Arduino MPU6050 or the IMU sensor tutorial. So uh, this sensor is a really useful sensor. It'll help you build self-balancing robots, uh, you know, UAVs, quad rotors and all cool stuff like that. So I'll just show you a tutorial. Um, I mean, I'll just show you how you can interface the sensor with your Arduino and uh, run a pretty simple code. So the um, interface or the interconnections between the Arduino and the MPU6050 is really simple. So it uses the I2C communication protocol. So um, the connections are given in detail in the tutorial. So you just need to hook up the VCC ground of the sensor and also the STA SCL pins to the Arduino's analog pins 4 and 5 and also connect the interrupt pin of the Arduino which is digital pin 2 to the sensor. So the connections are pretty simple and the sensor gives you a whole, whole lot of values uh, from its onboard axrometer and gyroscope and you can decide which uh, values you want. So it has its onboard digital motion processor which gives you a highly refined or accurate values um, in the form of your pitch roll angles etc. So I'll just show you the program code right now. So this is the code I'm going to be testing. So this uh, code is, um, uh, you know, you'll get it under um, file examples, mp 6050 over here. So you'll get this as soon as you um, download and install the mp 6050 library. Uh, it is available uh, in inside the article uh, on my website. So this library was developed by Jeff Rauberg. So um, it's a really simple code. So it um, um, consists of I2C communication techniques to interface or to communicate with the sensor. So you uh, see here there are several um, uh, lines which are commented out here. So all of these individual lines uh, are used to, you know, um, get the type of output we want. So if you uh, uncomment this line over here, you'll get output in the form of your pitch and roll angles. If you uh, uncomment this one, you'll get in the form of Euler angles. If you uncomment this one, you'll get the axrometer readings, etc. So depending on the type of uh, values you want from the sensor, you can uncomment that particular line and comment everything else. So uh, right now I just uncommented this particular line here so that I'll get my angle values in your, your pitch and roll. So uh, it's a really simple program. I have already uploaded it to the Arduino. So I'll just um, show you the demo right now. So I just need to open up the serial monitor. So um, if uh, there is nothing coming up, you just need to press the reset button once on the Arduino. And uh, you'll see a couple of stuff. It says initializing I2C devices, etc. And you need to enter a character to begin the um, programming. So I'm just going to enter a character and uh, uh, press it. So now you'll see the your pitch and roll angle values coming in from the sensor. And you'll also notice that initially the values coming from the sensor are a bit unstable. Uh, since you can see that even when I'm uh, even when the sensor is stationary, you'll see the values are going all over the place. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, it'll become stable after uh, roughly about 10 to 12 seconds. Uh, the values will start to get um, stable. So yeah, right now you can see that the values have become almost stable. Um, you get the yaw at 65, others at 17 and 23. So it's almost stable right now. So you just need to take care of that. As soon as you load the program, you just need to wait for some time to get the accurate values from the sensor. And now you can see that when I, when I try to move the sensor, the values correspondingly change. So you get the corresponding yaw pitch and roll angle values of uh, the state of the sensor. So you can see that. So using this um, sensor, you can build a whole lot of cool stuff like self-balancing robots um, and you know UAVs, stuff like that. So it's a really useful sensor. All kinds of smartphones have uh, sensors like this. So this is currently a six axis or six degrees of freedom IMU sensor, which, which means that it has both an axrometer and a gyroscope. So uh, the values coming out from it are pretty accurate. So this is a really um, simple tutorial for the sensor MPU6050. So I hope you guys build something really interesting out of it and have fun.